got to find that money. I'm no good to you, George. I'm just no good. Uh, but do you have any secret hiding places here in the house? I've gone over the whole house. Even rooms that we've kept locked ever since I lost your Aunt Laura. <laughs> Listen to me. Think. I can't think anymore, George. It hurts. We've got to find that money, you stupid, silly old fool. Do you know what this means? It means bankruptcy and scandal and prison. If one of us is going to jail, well, it's not going to be me. Did you bring the wreath? <laughs> what, what, what wreath? The Merry Christmas wreath for the window. Uh, I left it in the office. Is it snowing? Yeah, it just started. Where's your coat and hat? I left them in the office. Well, what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing's the matter. <laughs> Everything's all right. Well, isn't it wonderful about Harry? We're famous, George. I bet I got 50 calls today about the parade, the banquet. Your mother's so excited. She Must she keep playing it? I had to practice for the party. Daddy. Mommy says we can stay up until midnight and sing Christmas carols. Can you sing, Daddy? Uh, better hurry and shave, George. The families will be here soon. Hey, Alice, I don't want the families over here. Another red letter day for the Baileys. Daddy, the Browns next door have a new car. You should see it. Well, what's the matter with our car? Isn't it good enough for you? Yes, Daddy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. What? I <laughs> heard. <laughs> All right, darling, you're excused. Now go upstairs and see what little Zuzu wants. What's the matter with Zuzu? Oh, she got a cold caught coming home from school. They gave her a flower for a prize, and she didn't want to crush it, so she didn't button up her coat. Well, what is it, a sore throat? Well, the doctor says it's nothing serious. The doctor? He's here? He, uh, well, I called him right away. What, does she have a temperature? Or just a teensy one. Oh, it's this old house. No matter we don't all have pneumonia. Draft the old barn. It's like living in a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Why would you stay here anyway and live near this beastly, crummy old town? George, what's wrong? What's wrong? Everything's wrong. You, you call us a happy family? What do we tell all these kids? Dad, how do you spell frankincense? <laughs> ask your mother. Well, where'd you go? Where are you going? Upstairs to see Zuzu. <laughs> Where are you going? I want to give it a drink. All right, well, you give it to Daddy, and, and I'll give it a drink, okay? Oh, look, Daddy, the petals came off. Paste it. Okay. <laughs> Paste these petals back on here. Good as new. There you are. Oh, but now you got to give it a drink. All right, will you do something for me? What? Will you try to get some sleep? Well, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> I want to look at my flower. I know. If you go to sleep, you can dream about it, and it'll be a whole garden. It will? Uh-huh. Elbows! I'll get it! Hello, this, yes, this is Mrs. Bailey. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Welch. Yes, the doctor says that she'll be out of bed in time for a Christmas dinner. What, is that Susan's teacher? Yes. Here, let me talk to her. Hello, Mrs. Welch. Yeah, this is George Bailey. Hey, what's the big idea sending her home half-dressed like that? George! Yeah, is that what we pay taxes for? To have stupid, silly, careless people like you send our kids home with no clothes on? George! Uh, uh, hello, Mrs. Welch. I want to apologize. Hello? Hello? She hung up. I'll hang her up. George! Now, who do you think you are? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello? Hey, who's this? Mr. Oh, Mr. Welch, huh? Well, it gives me a chance to tell you what I really think of your wife. Sure. Will you get out of here and let me handle this? Oh, you will, huh? Yeah. All right. Anytime you think you're a man enough, Mr. Welch. What? Any? Hello? Hello? Oh. Daddy, how do you spell hallelujah? What do I look like, a dictionary? <laughs> Janie, haven't you learned that silly tune yet? You played it over and over again. Just stop it! Stop it! George, what are you doing? Sorry, Mary. Jamie, I didn't mean... You go on now and practice, okay? Pete, I owe you an apology, too. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. What did you want to know? <laughs> Nothing, Daddy. What's the matter with everybody? Jamie, I told you to practice. Now go on, play. <laughs> Daddy. George, why must you torture the children? Why don't you just... Mary... <sighs> Where's Daddy going? <clears throat> Bedford 247, please. Is Daddy in trouble? Yes, Pete. Shall we pray for him? Yes, Janie, pray. And you too? Tommy. You too, Tommy. Okay. Uh, hello, Uncle Billy? So that's it, George. 
You're short $8,000 in the books, eh? Uh, I'll do anything, Mr. Potter. I'll pay any kind of interest. If you're still interested in the building and loan... You say it was lost. Did you notify the police? Well, no, sir. I haven't done that yet. Harry's homecoming's tomorrow. Well, why did you come to me? What about your good friend, Sam Wainwright? I couldn't get a hold of him. He's in Europe. What kind of security would I have, George? You got any collateral? I have some life insurance. A $15,000 policy. How much is your equity in it? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> Five hundred? And you come in here wanting eight thousand? Just look at you. You used to be so cocky. You were going to go out and conquer the world. You once called me a warped, frustrated old man. Well, what are you but a warped, frustrated young man? Crawling in here on your hands and knees, not a penny to your name. No stocks, no bonds, no securities. Why, you're worth more dead than you are alive. Why don't you go to the riffraff you love so much and beg them for help? I'll do anything, Mr. Potter. I mean, you have to help me. My, my wife and You know what I'm going to do for you. As a stockholder of the building and loan, I'm calling the state examiner to get a warrant for your arrest. Misappropriation of funds, manipulation, Please, please Mr. Potter, feelings. you can't. They can't arrest me. Go on and run! You can't hide in a little town like this, George! Merry Christmas! <laughs>
Lord, if you, my friend, your mouth is a little bleeding. Uh, I'm all right. <laughs> Mr. Bailey? Don't go, Just don't go, Mr. Bailey, don't go! Long. George is headed to the bridge now, Clarence. Oh. Can you see him? Yes, he looks like he's going to jump. It's time, Clarence. Excuse me, you there. Uh, do you have the time? Uh, my watch is dead. Oh, thank you just the same! Hold on, mister! No, no, I'm coming! I, I can't sleep! <laughs> what in the Sam Hill or the two you doing? This storm's not fit for man or beast. Now get out of that water! <laughs> Are you two all right? Do you need a doctor? No, uh, I'm all right. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I, oh, this underwear. I didn't have a chance to get anything stylish. My wife gave this, gave this to me on my last birthday. I passed away in it. Passed away? <laughs> oh, look, Tom Sawyer. It dried out, too. Who? <laughs> my book. I left in such a hurry, I brought Tom Sawyer with me. <gasps> you should read the new book Mark Twain is working on. Mm. Say, how'd you happen to fall in anyway? Oh, I jumped in. I jumped in to save you. You, you jumped in to save me? Well, I did, didn't I? You didn't go through with it, did you? Go through with what? Suicide. It's against the law to commit suicide around here. Yeah, it's against the law where I come from, too. Where do you come from? Heaven. What? <laughs> Quickly, I, I knew that I, I jumped in because I knew that if I were drowning, you would jump in and save me, and you see, you did. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's very funny. Oh, yeah, that's how I saved you. <laughs> oh, your lip is bleeding, George. Oh, yeah, I got a bust in the jaw in answer to a prayer. Oh, no, 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 George. Yeah, I'm the answer to your prayer. <laughs> how do you know my name? Oh, I know all about you. I've been watching you. What are you looking for? Some kind of a hypnotist or something? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, then who are you then? Oh, I'm Clarence Oddbody, <coughs> AS2. Oddbody? A what, what, what's that? AS2? Angel! Second class. <laughs> here. I'm going. I'm getting out of here. You may not need a doctor, but I do. You know what you done? Hey, look, why did you want to save me? Because I'm your guardian angel. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Ridiculous of you trying to to kill yourself over money, $8,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, there's just things like that. How did you know about that? As I told you, I'm your guardian mm -hmm. angel. I know everything about you. You seem like the guardian, kind of guardian angel I get. Kind of a, kind of a fallen angel, aren't you? Where are your wings? Oh, I haven't got them yet. Uh, but, George, you can help me. But you can help me. You know, that's why I'm second class. Oh, I see. You can help me earn them, George, by letting me help you. What, do you happen to have 8,000 bucks on you? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't use money in heaven. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. Well, it comes in pretty handy down here, Paul. Oh, ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. You learned too late that I'm worth more dead than alive. Now, look, you mustn't say things like that. I'll never earn my wings with those, that attitude. You just don't know that all you've done, if it hadn't been for you. If it hadn't been for me, everybody would be a lot better off. My wife, my kids, my friends. This isn't going to be easy. Yeah, it'd be better off if I was never born. What did you say? I, I said I wish I'd never been born. George, that's wonderful. Oh, wonderful? Yes, the idea you just gave me. You got your wish. You've never been born. Never been born? Exactly. No worries, no $8,000 to get. Oh, you simply don't exist. Wait a minute. Say that again. Say that, say that in this ear. Oh, your ear. You don't have that ear anymore. Don't you see, George? You're not the George Bailey you think you are. You are, well, uh, you're nobody. That's a dog gone to sing. Ooh, your lip isn't bleeding either, George. What? Oh. Hey, you're right. What happened there? You know what? I think I, I need a drink, Angel. You want a drink? Oh, well, I don't know. Okay, we'll, we'll stroll on down. If our clothes are dry, we'll head on down to town. Oh, our clothes are dry. Oh, yeah. What do you know about that? Huh. Yes. So it must be hotter than I thought it was. Well, tell you what, let's uh, let's uh, stroll on into town and uh, well, tell you, I'll stroll and you fly. Huh? Oh, I don't have my wings. Uh, <laughs> that's right, you don't have your wings. Well, I'll tell you what, a couple drinks, we'll both fly. Oh, there's a place. Uh, uh, go ahead, sit down. Hey, Nick. Clarence, welcome to the finest bar in Bedford Falls. Bedford Falls? Don't you mean Pottersville? Hey, where's Martine? Look, I'm the boss. Do you want a drink or don't you? Yeah, 
Double bourbon, quick, huh? Uh, what's yours, bub? Oh, I was thinking of a mulled wine. <laughs> huh? Yeah, heading on the cinnamon light on the clothes. Hurry up, my fine man. Oh, now look, mister. We serve hard drinks in here for men who want to get drunk fast. And we don't need any characters around to give the joint atmosphere. Just give him the same thing as I got, all right? I mean, he's okay. Uh, two double bourbon. What about this place? It, it, it's all changed. Uh, I'm buying your favor. Old Bedford Falls has changed. Uh, you're, not, you're, you're having your wish, George. Uh, you've never been born. You know, the things you'll see here, you've never seen before. Oh, good. Someone made it. Made what? Oh, every time you hear a bell ring, it means some angel earned their wings. What did you say? Uh, hey, listen, Lawrence, maybe you shouldn't be talking about angels around here. Don't they believe in angels? Oh, well, no, of course they do. Well, then why should they be surprised when they see one? Huh? I'm not, he just never grew up there. Um, say, how old are you anyway, Clarence? 293 <laughs> next May. That does it! Out, you two pixies go! Through the door, through the window, but go on, get out! Get! Hey, hey where's Martini? Would you tell Stop him? Stop asking about, about Martini! He ain't here! Well, well, well. Look who crawled out from under whatever hole he's been hiding in. Hey, Mr. Gower. Hey, you, Rummy! Didn't I ever tell you to never come around here panhandling again? George, Mr. Look. Gower, it's me, George Bailey. Don't you know me? Will you buy me a drink, mister? Please, just one drink, mister. Pinky, throw the rummy out. You got it. Oh, no, please. Oh. Hey, hey, Nick, wasn't that Mr. Gower, the druggist? Ah, that old rum head spent 20 years in jail for poisoning some kid. And if you know him, you must be a jailbird, too. Baby, there's two more for you. Get them out of here. You got it, boss. <laughs> ah, I'm not a I don't need a car. Here, let me help you up. The snow is quite cold. What, what, what's wrong with Mr. Gower? Mr. Gower doesn't know you, George. <coughs> you weren't there to stop him from putting that poison in that prescription. What do you mean I wasn't there? What, what are you, some kind of a hypnotist? Why am I seeing all these strange things here? Don't you understand, George? It's because you've never been born. I've never been born? Then who am I? You're nobody. You simply don't exist. You have no identity. Well, I have no identity. I'm, I'm George Bailey. Oh, there is no George Bailey. Uh, you have no papers, no cards, no driver's license, no 4F cards, no insurance. Zeus's pedals. What? My daughter had a flower. I began to put some pedals on it, put them on my pocket. They're gone. E everything's gone. But you've been given your wish, George. The chance to see what the world would be like if you've never been born. Look, you're crazy. You're crazy as a bed bug. And it's making me crazy, too. You know, I'm going home to my family and going home alone. You got that? You know the drill, sister. Put your head behind your back. Hey, keep your hands off me. Why don't you bust somebody else for a change? Hey, hey officer, where'd the building alone move to? The building in what? The Bailey Building alone used to be up here. Oh, they tore that place down years ago. All that's left is this burlesque house. Not so fast, Copper. I know Potter. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah, that's Viola Big. Oh, I know. Believe me, I know. No, I, I know that girl. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Come on, <Yeah>. get out of here. Come on, get out of here. Taxi! Oh, hey, Ernie. Oh, Ernie, get me home. I'm, I'm going up my nut here. Where do you live? Now, Ernie, don't you start pulling that stuff. You know where I live. 320 Sycamore. Now, hurry up, okay? Okay, 320 Sycamore. All right, hurry up. Zuzu's sick. Yeah, all right. Listen, Ernie, I, I, help me out with something here. I, I got to hold some bad liquor or something. Your name's Ernie Bishop, and you live with your wife and kid in Bailey Park. I mean, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, you seen my wife? I've seen your wife. I've been to your house a hundred times. Look, bud, what's the big idea? I live in a shack in Potter's Field, and my wife ran off two years ago and took the kid. And I ain't never seen you before in my life. All right, well, just step on it. Get me home. All right. Uh... Is this the place? Of course it's the place. Well, but this house ain't been lived in for 20 years. Mary! Mary, kids, Pete, Janie, Tommy, Zuzu, where are you? They're not here, George. You have no children. Where are they, Clarence? What did you do with them? All right, all right. Put up your hands. Hey, what is this? Hey, no fast moves. Come on out here, the both of you. <laughs> oh, Bert, am I glad to see you. Uh, what, what's happening? What happened to my house? Where's my wife, my kids? Watch him, Bert. Come on, come on. I'm going to take you down to the station. No, no, Bert, it's this fella here. 
He claims he's an angel. He's trying to hypnotize me. Don't make me use me nightstick. <laughs> Bert, I hate to do this, but... Run, George, run! Ma Bailey's boarding house. <laughs> well? Uh, m mother? Mother? What do you want? Oh, mother, I thought, it's George, I thought sure you'd know me. George who? If you're looking for a room, there's no vacancy. Oh, mother, please, so something's happened to me. I, I don't know what it is, but I, I need a place to stay. Please, let me stay here. I don't take in strangers. Well, we're not strangers. We know all the same people. Uh, Uncle Billy, uh, your, your brother-in-law. You know him? Well, of course I do. Well, when did you see him last? Today, over at his house. Well, that's a lie. He's been in the insane asylum ever since he lost his business. If you ask me, that's where you belong. <laughs> <coughs> I'm here again, George. My mother, my own mother didn't even know me. Strange, isn't it? One man's life touches so many others, and when he's not there, it leaves such a hole, doesn't it? Listen, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I, but it's, so you're going to be some kind of a spell. Well, I'm going to get out of it. I have to. I, mean, I know I saw Uncle Billy today. How could he be in an asylum? I just need to, just need to wrap my head around Bailey Park. There is no Bailey Park if you want that to build it. Oh, well, we'll see. This is Bailey Park. People live here. How grim. This is where Bailey Park is supposed to be. What's that gravestone doing there? Oh, that Why's the name Bailey on it? It wouldn't be yours. No, it's, got, it's my father's name, but what's the other name on there? Why's my brother Harry's name on there? Your brother broke through the ice and drowned at the age of nine. That's a lie. Harry Bailey went to war. He won the Congressional Medal of Honor. He saved the lives of every man on that transport. Every man on that transport died. Because Harry wasn't there to save them, because you weren't there to save Harry. Don't you see, George, you've really had a wonderful life. It would be such a mistake to throw it all away. What do I do now? Clarence, what do I do? It's your life, George. Where's Mary, Clarence? Mary? My wife, Mary. What, what happened to her if I was never born? Oh, I'm not supposed to tell you. I don't know how you know the things you do, but if you know where she is, just, just let me see her. That's all I need to make a decision. Very well, George, but you're not going to like Where this. is she, Clarence? She's an old man. Where is she? She's closing up the library. There must be an easier way to earn my leave. <laughs> is the library closed? It's Christmas Eve. We can't stay open all night. Can I ask you a question? I should really be getting home. What is there to go home to? That's none of your business, sir. The library is closed. Maybe you should try back on the 26th. Uh, Mary, Mary, I'm sorry. How do you know my name? I, I just I just need a couple seconds. I, I told you the library is closed. Please, just two seconds. That's all I need. I'll do anything. You sound desperate. I'll help if I can. What is it? Isn't this town Bedford Falls? Well, it used to be, but... That was some time ago. I wasn't very old when Potter was elected and took the town along with its name for himself. So you do know a place called Bedford Falls? I've seen pictures. It, it looked like a very nice place, but things have changed. That's with the times. I have to go. No, no wait, wait, wait. Mary Hatch, you live on Reed Street. Uh, uh, white Victorian. Your bedroom's at the top of the stairs. You turn to the left. You have an older brother, Marty, and you live with your, with your mother, Edwina. How do you know all of this? Uh, are you some crazy man? Stop it, I'm leaving! Oh, don't you know me? Let me touch you. Get away from me! I'll call a cop! No, the house you wish for, don't you remember? I told you I don't know you! Let me go! Don't Officer. you know me, Mary? You must! Please, please, George, let me go. don't you know me? No, no, please, no. Mary, you gotta help me! What? 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 Where are our kids? What? I don't know what you're talking about! I need about. you, Mary! Help me, no, Mary! Get away from me! Help! Mary, help please, me! Please, George! I, uh, please. You're my wife! Yeah. Clarence! Clarence, go back, Clarence! Where are you? Clarence, take me home, Clarence. I don't care what happens to me. Just take me back to my wife and kids. I want to live again, please. I want to live again. Oh, God. Let me live again. George! 
George! There you are! Oh my goodness! Stay back there, George. George. Don't you come near me. You come near me, I'll hit you again. What the Sam Hill are you yelling for? Come on. George. George. Say, Bert, Bert, do you know me? Of course I know you. I've been looking all over town for you. Bert, Bert, I'm alive again, Bert. You sure you're all right? Your lip's bleeding. Hey, it is. Look at the blood coming out of her. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, and Susan's petals. There they are. Merry Christmas, Bert. Merry Christmas. Get in the car and I'll drag you home. Yeah, you will. Hey, turn the siren light open, would you? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dr. Balls! Merry Christmas, you beautiful old building alone! Merry Christmas, Mr. Potter! Yippee! <laughs> Mary! Mary! Hey, where's Mary? Hey, hey! Hey, what, who are you people? Who are you reporters? Well, Merry Christmas, reporters! Mr. Bailey, there's a deficit. Yeah, Eight thousand dollars, I bet, huh? Yes, <laughs> Uh, got a little piece of paper here for you, George. Well, I've been so warm for my arrest, isn't it? Isn't it wonderful? Hey, where's Mary, you know? Oh, this beautiful, drafty <laughs> old house. Hey, where's Mary? Merry Christmas, Daddy! Merry Christmas, Daddy! Daddy. 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 Oh, Pete, Tommy, Jane, oh, I could eat you up. Where's your mother? She went looking for you with Uncle Billy. Daddy! Zoo, oh, zoo, 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 my little ginger snap. How do you feel? Fine, Daddy. <laughs> Not as good. Not a smidge. Hallelujah! <laughs> George, darling! Mary! Oh, oh, George, oh you're real! Oh, oh, let me touch you. Oh, 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 no, you'll never guess what happened to me. You'll never guess what happened either, George. Come oh, quick, they're on their way. Well, who's on their way? The, the police? The FBI? The, 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 the National Guard? I'm alive again, Mary. Listen to me. I'm alive again. Oh, George, oh, come over here. I want oh, to stand right over here by the Christmas tree. Oh, now, don't move. She told a few people you were in trouble, and then they all scattered all over town collecting money. They didn't even ask any questions. Everyone said, if George is in trouble, you can count on me. You what never is, saw anything like it. What is this, George? Some other rum on the bank? Here they are. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Line bumps to the right. Mr. Gawa, Merry Christmas. Mr. Martini, step out right now. Hey, I busted up my jukebox for you. Hey, Mr. Gower. I made the rounds on my charge accounts. <laughs> Violet Big. I'm not going to go, George. I changed my mind. I wouldn't have a roof over my head if it wasn't for you, George. Here you are, two hundred and forty-two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saving this money for a divorce. If I ever get a husband. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas, George. Merry Christmas, Mother. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. Christmas. 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 Oh, oh, just a minute. Quiet, everyone. Quiet. A, a telegram from London. Oh, London. <laughs> Mr. Gower cables you need cash. Stop. Have instructed my office to advance you up to $25,000. Stop. Hee-haw and Merry Christmas, <laughs> Sam Wainwright. Mark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Oh, Harry, how are you? Harry. Harry. Oh, Harry. George, how are you? <laughs> Mary, looks like I got here too late. Oh. Oh, Mary. I took him here from the airport as quick as I could. The fool flew all the way here in a blizzard. <laughs> Harry, how about the banquet in Washington? Oh, I left. Right in the middle, as soon as I got Mary's telegram. Oh, how about some wine? Oh, what a great idea. A toast to my big brother George, the richest man in town. Hooray! Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. What's this book, George? Oh, this is Tom Sawyer. Well, look, there's an inscription. George, remember, no man is a Thaya who has friends. Thanks for the wings, love, claps. What's that? That's a Christmas gift from a very dear friend of mine. Look, Daddy, teacher says every time the bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. That's right. 
I'd play Clarence. Shut up. This has been WBFR Playhouse of the Air's presentation of It's a Wonderful Life. The WBFR Playhouse is brought to you this and every week by Dremel Hair Tonic and Doc's Toilet Cake. Please stay tuned for a program of popular holiday music. This is Freddie Fillmore and WBFR in New York City signing off, wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas. Good night. We'll take a cup of time to get the call